Hey YouTube, it's Slide Razor. Well, it's been a while since I've uploaded videos and I really want to apologize for that because I promised to be uploading videos every Friday, but I've been taking some exams so I haven't really had the time. But now, we're going to be getting videos every week. So we're back. So what are we doing today? Today we're going to be learning, or you guys are going to be learning how to crop your images for your presentations. Why is it this important? Because cropping is used to place images into your presentations in the perfect size and the perfect aspect ratios that you're going to be needing them for, for your presentations. Because every presentation usually has an image and it's cropped in a certain way. So you learning this is really going to help you in the long run. So what are we waiting for? Let's begin. So don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button and also leave your comments in the comment section so that I can know what you think about this crop function and what other things you would like to learn or what other kinds of cropping you would like me to show you. Okay, let's begin. Today, we've got some images on my PowerPoint that I'm going to be teaching us how to crop. Okay? So I'm um, getting over to this image. Now how do we crop this image? Let's say you have a presentation on uh, furniture or interior design and uh, we need to focus on the bed. Okay. Now if you have this image like this, there's no space to obviously put your text or to insert your text. So you've got to crop this image in a way that we focus just on the bed. Okay, we don't really need the windows, by the way, that's nice, but we don't really need the windows. So what do we do? You click your image, you go to the format tab, then you go over to crop. Okay, now when you click crop, you notice that there are, that there are edges. Now when you click crop, you notice that there are edges. Hold on. We notice that there are some black, um, edges or borders added to this image so we want to focus on just the bed okay so something of this nature we just want the bed we don't really really need much of the floorboard just need the bed okay now click here and there we go we have the bed okay now we could place it in any form and insert text wherever you want but how about if we do like how about if we just want like the mattress or the pillows or something maybe we don't just want this maybe we want half of the room you understand we just want to show how it's going to be designed interior let's say this is a presentation on interior design okay so how about we just want like half of the room we want to split this image in half what do we do now let's uh, come to z get the full image now you could just extend this part like this and extend this part like this and click out there we go you have this okay now how about we just want to uh, zoom in a bit but want to keep the size but want to zoom in what do we do we crop it again oops so First of all, we zoom out. Now, we just want to focus on just this part. Something like this. Okay, we just want to bring it in a little bit, something like this. But still in the same uh, shape. I don't know if you guys are getting what I'm trying to explain here. But we are not reducing the size of the image. Rather, we are zooming into certain aspects of the image. That's what you can use this tool for. Okay? So that's for this image. Now, how would I want to actually use this image if I was actually given a presentation on it? Let me see. Okay, this the image is properly centered, anyways, because you can see the, the bed is in the middle. So, what do I do? What do I do? Okay. The best way to use this kind of images is to. Oops. Is to. Uh, use them like this 
because if you cut them in half uh, vertically, it won't be nice. So you could do something like this and put your text beneath here. Like, uh, you could do something like this. So we're going to insert our text over here and place it at any point, talking about the bed, whatever the furniture dimensions are, or, you know, you can just come up with something to put it, but this is actually one of the best ways to use this image, so that you don't divide the picture or split it in between and show half of the bed and all. Alright, so that's the method of cropping. Over here too, we could actually crop this image too. How about... We want to just focus on the bottle so you could use these edges to reduce your frame of crop then you could actually reduce this image to this size like this i know i said we should focus on the bottle but i'm just trying to show us something so now if you want to focus on just the bottle still keeping the same size of the image we can do that so what do we do we select the image we go to crop now using these edges of the image we increase them okay now we we'll have to place it in a way that we could just focus on the bottom having nice image. good you see now we just and you won't people won't even know that this image is on the round paper okay so that's the importance of cropping images using crop or that's how you can crop an image and look like a pro doing it. Because this one example and um, if you bring this image to front, this it's uh, another bed. So let's say we just want to focus on just this here. On the, uh, on the um, what's it called? Lamp stand or bed stand or bed lamp. Whatever one is called. So go to our crop tool I'm just using shortcut because it's faster for me we could do like this okay now we have our lamp stand no, it's not a lamp stand but it's a bed I don't know whatever this thing is so but we want to zoom in as usual so we could get more in-depth view of our image so we go to crop now then we our image and place it like this and you see we could keep the same size but we could zoom into different parts of the image that's one good thing about crop and that's how you can crop images like a pro okay now if we uh, come over to this image what do we do here? let's say we just want to focus on this picture up here we could focus on the seat or the chair or on the plant whatever one you want to focus on is you could crop it now how about we, we focus on like um, let's see let's see let's see which part of that. let's focus on just this image here keeping the same okay let, let's 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 focus on the photograph in here okay keeping the same image size so we head on to crop remember the same image size and we want to focus on this image okay so that means we're going to have to extend it a bit then we have something like this okay then <laughs> let me zoom back you see now we're focused directly on the picture on the wall so that's how you crop images now how about cropping people's faces portrait images how do we crop this? Maybe we, maybe you're writing a CV or you're talking about your team or you're talking about whatever that involves a group of people or portraits of people. So let's do something like this, okay? Let's put this dudes or this images here. Now let's focus on her. 
now there are many ways to do this depending on your needs okay now you could decide to crop it this way where you just focus on her head but in the square box okay depending on what you want to talk about you can keep the image here keep the image at the angle of the slide whatever you want to do you can have it that way or we could decide to crop it in a circular way okay so now you go back to the crop you go to aspect ratio okay so we already have portraits here so if you try this two is to three it uh, it just keeps it in the same image frame but it arranges it you know this automatically tells powerpoint that you want to make a portrait bar whatever frame of the crop you've placed it in is where it's going to stay okay so that way it's just going to be the same no changes okay but if you want to make it circular we could first of all we could crop it to a square first now mm -hmm. uh, like i did before we want to focus on just um, our face then you can crop to shape and choose oval okay there we go now one thing about this is as it's placed like this you can adjust so we go to crop again you see we have the entire image now we could decide okay uh, i want to reduce the circle size holding shift so it can always be a, a perfect circle okay now you could choose how you want to place it you could use it a bit place it in the way that her hair fits in that something like this okay who's getting her face and everything and there we go we've got this now we could put in some text maybe her name is uh, Alison Parker Alison. Alison Parker could be her name now I'm just saying something like that okay. and over here we could do the same thing here but uh, this image is well let's just see select them because if you go directly to crop it over it's going to look like this and this isn't what we want okay but when it's like this you could actually go fit aspect ratio to the square and you have a perfect circle as well so it's all up to you now for this lady we can't really make the circle big so let's make it a little bit more then we use her, her image okay um, oops uh, her, her uh, the best of all we could do is just to focus on her face yeah. and we do much okay something like this and this is okay this could work maybe if you want maybe you want to talk about her accomplishments or, or whatever she has done what do we call her uh, let's see she looks more like an Alison. This looks like um, I just call her Jane. <laughs> Jane Stone. Anyways, where's our last picture? Oh, uh, this image. Okay, now this one will be more easier. Why? Because you can see there's, there's at least a bit of space around this portrait. Okay, so it's going to be easier to convert it to a circle. So we do the same thing. Out. To crop, to crop it to a shape, a circular shape. Don't mind the oval aspect of this. You see, now you just place our one more time. Now you could, as it's like this, you could actually reduce the size, increase the size, whatever we want to do with this. That's why cropping is important. Okay, you could do the same thing to this image if you want. No matter how you, whatever size you're looking at, or Need. You can make it as small as this to as large as this, depending on what you want. It's all in it, okay. So that's how to crop or that not or that's how to crop images for whatever need, especially portraits. Now, um, how about we uh, crop this? Okay. Now, in this situation, we want to crop it to a triangle, a right angle triangle to be precise. Okay, now this is the only disadvantage of cropping. If we crop it to a shape and choose a right angle triangle, okay, and uh, 
let's say you want to place it okay let's place it this way you want to place it um, like this okay we want the image to fill this space and we want to uh, do some text here now when you select this we can't turn the image inside the crop brush i don't know if you get my point because uh let's say uh um, how do we do this now let's say, okay. There is no rotating sign anywhere to rotate the image in this situation. That's because we've actually rotated the image, but we want to place it in this particular uh, shape. So the crop tool actually works to, or is tailored to crop the image to whatever position you place it in, and it can't turn the image. There is no rotation to crop it. So the only way you could rotate this image is removing the crop. But there is a way to actually rotate this image in this triangle or in this right angle. That's when you insert the image to a shape. That's for another video. So this is basically how you crop images for whatever need. Okay. So for this image, the best way to actually uh, crop this image, let's see. It's already in a triangle, so let's see. Could we flip the image? Let's see. Okay, that's nice. Um, we'll do something like this. Yeah, how about the okay. I want to focus on the pillow. And get um, the plant as well. Okay, and we just put the plant to this edge. Now to complete this, we could just move our crop to something like this. Something like this, you put your text on here, however you want to do it. If you decide to flip this, you see, you can't flip it again. This is also nice if you turn the image, it's going to look very nice. If you so you stand, you understand, you could turn it around, let it look like that, but in that place, that comes to a certain image into a shape. So I hope you guys were able to learn something from this video so I can actually crop images because you will be needing to crop images for various reasons in PowerPoint. It could be to when you're making a presentation, it could be for explaining something, whatever need you require, you will need to crop images. You would definitely need to. So that's part of it. So glad this video was able to help someone learn how to crop any image you want to crop. And also, as a bonus point, instead of, uh, no, this goes to the slide. So instead of always having to extend your images, for example, what's my best image? This one. So let's do it. So now, uh, instead of having to always extend all our images, we could make use of the crop tool to actually fill okay so I know this is not the correct size but we want this image to fill the entire screen so we go to crop we extend our crop margins or markers as you call them then we just go to this little pull down here and we have to go to fill okay now it fills it down the only thing we need to do is to adjust which part we want to show our image something like this is nice so that if you zoom in or enter the slide show looks like this it's great okay so that's the use of crop tool so and before we close or before i end this video how about i show you guys this other option to fit okay
okay, it says resize the picture so the entire picture displays inside the picture area while maintaining the original aspect ratio. So how about we um, let's 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 learn how to do that. So we do something like this. We want the entire image to be here inside this box like this. Okay. That's all we have. So we just go to crop and we go to fit. There we go. That's the use of fit. Like it's quicker than having to pull in from this side, pull in from this side. That's the use of that uh, that function. There. So you could crop your images to any shape. It could be a um, pentagon. It could be a um, a diamond whatever even if it could actually be into a, a teardrop whatever need you, you require or whatever desired need whatever the presentation requires you crop your images accordingly so hopefully you guys will be able to learn how to crop your images like a pro from all this explanations I've given you and be sure to wait for my next video about showing you guys how to insert images into shapes. And later on, we'll talk about how to insert images into forms. Take care, see ya.